This is the basic setup guide for Deputy Companion app and the Deputy Shader. Make sure you have your VR headset and the company software installed for the Steam VR app. You also need to disable Steam's own VR theater mode and while you're at it, set the preferred render resolution of Steam VR itself. So let's do this. Settings. Make sure you click on in game and click this off. It'll be like this, make sure it's like that. Click OK. And for the render resolution, you need to go into the Steam VR app and click on settings. Uh, click on video. I guess you can also have it in general. Click on custom. And for myself, uh, I will set it to 300%. You can also set it to 500%, but that's a little more difficult to run, but should should run fine. Yeah. Close that. And now we need to visit Reshade's website. So you have to go to www.reshade.me. Make sure it's not the .com. We can get some other kind of Reshade. We have a on over there. And click on download. And we'll get to this place and click on download Reshade current version. Download into the install box. Since I already have it here, I am going to cancel and I'm going to go to the folder itself. And we are going to pick the game from the installer. So we need to start the installer like I did now and find the game we want to install it to. Uh, we can have this scan, but in our case, we're going to click on browse and we are going to choose a game ourselves. In this case, we're going to look for a game called Wrath, and we're going to install it to that. Dark Places, I believe it's OpenGL, it's using the Dark Places engine. I'm going to uncheck this, can't uncheck that, you don't want to. I'm going to click on Dev 3D by myself. Click OK. We're going to uncheck all of these, and since we're, this is the uh, VR installation, I'm going to click on the VR shader and hit OK. Yeah, we're following all the information it gives us, and I think this is uh, OK now. So I'm going to close this. And now we need to head over to download the Dev 3D Companion app. We need to go to www.dev3d.info. Here it is. I already typed in. Hit enter. We're going to scroll down until we see the new Dev3D VR app. So, this app comes with some new features with support for different aspect ratios up to 21 by 9. You can push it up to 32 by 9, but then the app starts to have issues and some things don't work automatically. Uh, we're going to download this. I should make this a hyperlink when I get a chance. Alright, install this to wherever you like, but for myself, I'm just going to put it into the desktop really quick. Alright, we just need to install it now. So these are the keys that you should be memorizing. We're just we're gonna have more options to actually do this and in app. Click on next. You read it if you want the license. You can change the install location if you like. Let's install this really quickly. Finish. And it should put a icon on the desk on the desktop. Uh, we're gonna click that now and start up the application. Uh, other features that have been added, uh, 
So we have a new Super 3D mode and a side by side mode. Um, SMAA is now default, you click the ultra, so you get this nice smooth run lettering. Uh, point filter is now used for the app itself, so it should be clear. So let's uh, let's go in and switch this over to the application so we can look at the scene and let's look at the capture. So we're gonna we'll do game capture, add existing. No, not there. Yet. Okay, and we're gonna switch over to. Switch that to the companion app. Okay. All right. So we are going to. Okay. So. All right. Let's switch over to the uh, game capture. I'm just to blow out the window. All right. Let me put on my headset and try to do it. So capturing the application should be fine, I believe. So you're seeing what I'm seeing. So let's uh I think the minimize and it should still be fine. It should still be capturing. Alright, now this is what I'm seeing in app. So I can zoom in, zoom out. Let's put it out for a little bit, a little further. Alright, we are going to start up the game that we installed reshade 2 with the uh, VR app so let's click on play yes well, let's see let me click on cancel make sure this is uh not going to start up in VR so was, uh, I guess you can have to check it there as well I thought the global option should work oh well close that and I'll start it up I guess still ask so whatever All right. Ooh, that's a bit loud. So let's uh, lower that for you guys. All right, we're gonna click on options video. Oh, that is still very low. Go for that as well, and I think for myself, all right, uh, there we go. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, once we're in here, I recommend. We, well, I guess we could, for, for right now, we're going to set it to 60 for the refresh rate, and we are going to, uh, let's, uh, enable MSA for this. Actually, you know what? No. Okay, so far. You know what, we're going to leave that alone, and let's see, where's the uh, resolution? Oh yeah, click on home, click on uh, skip tutorial, and we want to enable this when we get a chance, but for right now, let's close home and make sure we have the game settings set up correctly. And we go to display resolution, and we're going to set this to our native resolution for the screen. Our resolution. Alright, now it should be kind of full screen. Alright, uh, okay, now let's go into the game, click on the, uh, oh, I guess I have something to fix. I'll fix that later. Oh no, oh no, 
we don't have any to fix that's only for the uh, warning for uh, this all right we're going to enable super 3d mode which is one of the new options and we're going to leave everything how it is since this game already has a profile from overwatch and as soon as we uh we probably should uh, minimize this So let's go look at wonky since we are make sure this is full screen confirm there we go yeah the app needs to be in full screen you can do window mode full screen as well but that's all right um once we are in app and everything seems to be going good the the um, Dead 3D Companions app new feature has to show itself. Basically, uh, hold on, just need to make sure. I know it says it. So basically, uh, you can Alt Tab out of the app, and you can like use it, and it'll automatically convert the image into a stereo image now without you going into the menu by clicking that. Uh, it will turn off the 3D mode automatically once you're in the menu, so you can set up the settings. Other than that, it should be uh, fine. All right. So uh, you see, you can see the statistics here of the uh, of the application seems to be okay. So let's uh, start up the game. So let's click on begin. I'm gonna how do you start this game? Uh, begin. Okay, so we need a new profile. BSD. Hit OK. Let's do uh, normal and be fine. Um, seems to be, there we go. All right, we're good. All right, so once we're in game, it should be fully in 3D already. So the weapons and everything should be fine. You can increase the depth and or convergence. Uh, in this case, we're going to use separation. So kind of hard to read it from that distance. So let's uh, move it closer. Yeah, if you press the uh, keys, you can see the uh, the stuff that's needed to adjust the shader, you can make it more curved, you could uh, increase the, or like move the screen up and down, it's, 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 it's all there, even the key lock, so we are going to just increase this here, we're going to hit the key lock thing, and close that down, and we should have more depth in the game, and you can play that in VR now. So. You're not going to be able to see the 3D image, but I am able to myself. I'm trying to remember how to play this game. There we go. And you can enjoy your games in VR and 3D and all that fun stuff. So uh, this game has a pretty good profile. So the world is in 3D. And let's see. What's that? I think that's a secret. Uh, it's a little difficult. You get up there. So latency should be better now in the 1.7 app. Uh, now it's grabbing and trying to give the uh, frame as quickly as possible to the application. So most games should be fine if you play it in this. I can still I can still feel a little bit of a delay here, and I believe it's reduced if you increase the. Uh, the game to to run at 80 the screens or the VR's own native um, FPS other than that it should be playable enough all right then that that's uh that concludes the uh, basic installation for the app please enjoy and, and it's to be frank, it's kind of cool to uh, see depth in your game again. Alright. I kind of want to play the game right now, but uh, 
I know I have to upload this.